。咁點樣樣喺前面嘅？上海、台灣、香港、澳門啊，亞特蘭大。Hello and welcome to Sex Talk. My name is Catherine Lee, and I'll be your host for today. 各位親愛觀眾，歡迎誒大家誒參加我哋呢個教育透視嘅節目。我係主持人 Carol Chan。This weekend, we are going to be at the luxurious Tabu Resort in beautiful Muskoka. This is your host Maggie Ng, and we are on location in Waterloo at the Canadian headquarters for Sun Life Financial. <laughs> Conference of the first annual gala of the Great Wall fundraising. Ah, 大家各位下午好。呃，今天呢是我们这个长城筹款基金会的一个新闻发布会。我们在这里会介绍一下这个呃，我们将会举办的第一届慈善筹款晚会。Ah, first of all, I would like to welcome many of the representatives of media here with us. Thank you very much. 谢谢各位来宾。Uh, now I would like to um, introduce members of our head table here, and I would like to start from left to right. First of all, we have Ms. Esther Wong, founding member and vice chair of the Great Wall Fundraising Group. Next, we have Mr. David Tabuchi. He's the honorary co-chair of our fundraising group. 先生，他是我们的名誉会长。呃、uh, ，Next we have Mr. Danny Leung. He is the founder and chair of the Great Wall Fundraising Group. 杨志强先生，他是我们这个长城筹款基金会的呃慈善人跟主席。呃、uh, ，Next we have Ms. Suzette Strong. She's the president of the Markham Stovall Hospital Foundation. <笑> Suzette Strong 女士，她是呃。Uh, 万锦市多福医院的筹款基金会的那个呃总裁总裁。呃 ，First of all, I would like to、uh, call on Mr. David Tabuchi to、uh, open our press conference. Thank you very much.、Uh, the Great Wall Fundraising Group was the idea and vision of Danny Young, and、uh, Danny's idea was to build a wall, brick by brick, to protect this community from disease and sickness. And when he says this community, he means all the members of this community. And one of the goals that Danny had was to make sure this community included the Asian community, the Chinese community, because they wanted to make sure that they felt that the hospital at Mark Stovall was their hospital too. And that's where the idea started. 
very appropriate because the, the Great Wall of China was one of the greatest challenges, architectural challenges, in the history of mankind. We're now about to embark on a huge challenge in Markham. We have a great expansion plan for Markham Stillwell Hospital. It's a $50 million campaign, and it is a great challenge. But as with the Great Wall of China, greatest challenges require the greatest efforts and will bring the greatest success. And I think that's what we're, this is all about. You know, the idea of the Great Wall, and I have to tell you, Danny Byung has this great vision that everyone, probably in the world, should recognize the Markham Stillwell Hospital and work on this campaign. Danny and I were sitting in the most famous, I think, Peking Duck restaurant in Beijing. Uh, and for, forgive my pronunciation, but Tang Joy Duk, I think, close to that. <laughs> and we're sitting there with a couple of uh, three businessmen uh, from Beijing. And in the middle of this, this dinner, Danny asked them if they would give a donation to the Markham Stovall Hospital. And I'm thinking, what has that got to do with anybody in Beijing to give money to our hospital in Markham? They all wrote a check. Now, this is because of Danny, his persuasiveness, but his leadership. And one thing Danny Leung has is commitments. And when he says he's going to help raise a lot of money for the hospital, for this very important piece of our community, and to make sure that the whole broader community recognizes the leadership role that the Chinese community will play in this hospital and how important it is to them as well, I believe that Danny can do that. And that's why I'm very pleased to help, along with uh, Mayor Frank Scarpetti, who is the other honorary co-chair, uh, to assist in this campaign to make sure it's a success. So with that, I'd like to introduce uh, the chairman of the Great Wall Fundraising Group, Danny Leung. Thank you very much, David. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming to the Great Wall Fundraising Group's uh, press conference. 